Hey guys, your boy Kerpers, and welcome to my season and six finale hey, for Game of Thrones. So, episode ten, the winds of winter. So, after six goddamn seasons, winter is here. Not, not really, because you know it's. It's the middle, it's the end of June, in real life, but in the show, the winter has come. So, wait, the, and the, so where to start? Let's start with King's Landing, because King's Landing seemed to be, you know, the place where everything went down in, in this episode. So. They had the little trial for Loris and, and Cersei. Loris is like, you know, instantly he he just thrown himself out there confessing to his sins and oh no. Oh. Oh. And then he got the uh tattoo carving into his head, you know, the circle that um Lancel has in his head, or I should say had, because Lancel, the High Sparrow, Marjorie, Loris, Kevin Lannister, uh, a good population of, the, of King's Landing, um, Grandmaster Pice, oh, thank Ink the seven gods. Seriously, that old fuck has been so oh, useless for six goddamn seasons. You know, when I initially was watching him through f first season, I was like, this guy's gonna die soon, right? No, he survived six whole seasons for some reason. And I was glad when Kyburn and his little birds stabbed that old piece of shit to death. It's the one thing in this episode I agree he went on behalf of the Lannisters. The rest, they were all cunts. So. Oh, Cersei sets off wildfire, kills a whole lot of people. Oh, oh, and once the king, once, once Tom and here's what happened: that every, that pretty much die Sparrow is dead, Marjorie is dead. Once he hears all this, he can it's suicide. Um. Suicide is not the way, kids. Suicide is not the way. He. 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 Marjorie. Uh, Cersei is shown the king's body. He by Kyburn. Hmm. And she says, burn him and bury his ass ashes where the Sept of Baelor was. Obviously, because, you know, she can't have the, um, because he can't be buried in there or normally because she kind of burnt the place down. Kind of, you know, only absolutely burnt it down. And Jamie was, I don't know if he was pissed or shocked or a bit of both, but he, he just seemed to be almost speechless. When he saw the smoke, and he, knew, I, th I think he knew as soon as he saw the smoke because he was like, "Yo, we have to go." Well, maybe he was worried Cersei had been killed, but Cersei, he seemingly planned this out very well, because she was absolutely nowhere near. Tommen was stopped from going anywhere near the Hesepta Baelor, or by them, a mountain who 
we saw him remove his helmet for the first time in this episode when in the shame nun um shame nun was strapped to some hmm, hmm, board kind of like the thing like kind of like where you lay out ooh, um someone who's died like in previous episodes we've seen hmm? like with um like with Tywin and Joffrey and John at the start of the season and Cersei pouring wine on her 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 confessing to all her crimes and just taking the utmost pleasure in the fact that she has won she faced the sparrows and she won Fortunately, she won't win any more. Her, her, this will be her last victory. Hopefully, I, I assume so. Anyway, be a bit disappointing if if it if it's not her last victory. Hmm. And uh, yeah, then the the mountain comes in. He takes off his helmet. He seemed to be taking off his all his armor, which. Led me to think, was he about to fuck the shame nun? Because Cersei is obviously going to torture the fuck out of that, uh, uh, out of the shame nun before she kills her. Pretty much, she wants her to feel like Cersei has felt when she was being shamed and then and asked to confess um so yeah and then she got crowned queen of the anvils and the first man and protector of the realm and all that shit so yeah I'm guessing in She's going to be the first first person and Danny has to take out. Just 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 a thought. And since I mentioned her, we might as well go next to Danny. She's left the second sons back in Marine to make sure her that the uh people choose a leader who is worthy of leading Marine and won't, you know, bring back slavery. Obviously, I don't think I don't think slavery will be a problem anymore, or cause um, you know, there's there's these three huge dragons that they might be a tad bit actually shitting their pants and in, in, in fear of, <laughs> you know, just just a little bit, you know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I've never ever come up against a real life dragon because they don't exist in real life. Um, yeah. So, oh, the second son stayed behind with, um, Dario. Dario, I remembered it. Yes, I remembered his name. Um, which, even though it's probably the last time we'll ever see him, maybe? Who knows? And, uh, yeah. Daenerys is preparing in case she needs to form an alliance through marriage maybe to house stark and i'll get to house stark in a minute um tyrion has been giving a hand of the king badge or hand of the queen in this case so we have two queens with two hands one, Cersei, whose hand is is Kyburn, and Daenerys, who's the true queen, and her hand is Tyrion. This should get very, very interesting next season. Now, um, let's go from Daenerys, who has... Who, thanks to uh, sneaky, sneaky Varys, has uh, 
apparently been aligned with it, the Tyrells and the Sand Snakes as well. So, because Lady Elena, and yes, I remembered her name as well. Oh, I'm doing very well. <laughs> she, after her, I'm assuming, hearing about what happened to her family, is like pissed at Cersei. Hey, and the Sand Snakes are like, yo, let's, let's kill that bitch, basically. And they basically say, will he offer you what you desire? Her. Revenge. She didn't say revenge, but. But it's, it's implied. And the fact that Vera said, fire and blood. I never thought I'd smile after thinking about a scene in Dorne, but there you go. They were, they managed it. Good for them. Um, let's go from House Targaryen to House Stark. And let's start with the new King of the North, Jon Snow. So, oh, Jon Snow, he uh, kicked, um... Melisandre out after learning what she did to Shireen Baratheon and, and John threatened uh, if she ever comes back to the north she'll lose her hand and Davos is like if you ever come back I'll kill you which is a proper threat it's because you know uh, I, I, can't, I can't confirm this but I just have this weird feeling that if John took Melisandre's hand, she'd have some weird blood magic way of bringing it back. So, yeah, just just a thought. That That's not really a threat. But House Mormont Glover, her Manderley, we actually saw Lord, uh, Lord Manderley, who hasn't appeared up until this point. And, um, and there was another house I can't remember which house it was but uh they all swore her loyalty and pretty much everyone except uh, uh Pierre Baelish was to proclaim him in Jon Snow King of the North after Leon Mormon pretty much owned their ass and said hey the North remembers because apparently you've all forgotten that the North remembers how the hell did you do that she didn't say those words. I'm putting words in her mouth, but you know, let's. Basically, she he owned their asses, is and proved that she is in fact a badass. Um, Sansa and Baelish had a little chat just before this about what Baelish wants. He wants to be on the Iron Throne. Not gonna happen, Pierre. Not gonna happen. Or just just to, just just throwing it out there. Her her I mean Brienne will probably be back soon. And then you are probably fucked. Cause Sansa said to John and John when John asked, Do you trust Littlefinger? and and she's like no, only an idiot would trust Littlefinger. So obviously Santa doesn't trust Littlefinger, she just needed him. Which is awesome, the fact that Littlefinger got used. Who's how he has used many people so often in the past few seasons. So, bit of a bit of an ironic twist of fate. Uh, let's go to the uh, another Stark, Bran. Who has been left by he Benjen? Uh, I think they're just by the wall, so I'm assuming they're gonna go through Castle Black onto the other side. Benjen said, "You know, I'm gonna fight he as long as I can. Obviously, he's gonna try and keep the White Walkers at bay." But he's only one man, so chances are he's gonna die. Properly die. Maybe not like way he is now. Um, and Bran touched the world and he saw 
the full tower rejoicing with Liana lying in a pool of blood and Ned getting a baby. He, and you know, the shot, they were, they zoom, they, the shot, it transitioned from the face of the baby to the grown up face of Jon Snow is probably one of the best transition shots you can ever come up with. That is the ultimate way to like say, you know, just, just for those of you who don't know, this is who that baby is. Is yes, that is Jon Snow. Damn. <laughs> oh, so Brian will be coming south of the wall next uh, next season if he's not already south of the wall by next se- by the start of next season. Who knows? And will he go to Winterfell and tell Jon, hey? Uh, you're not actually my brother. You're my, he, uh, you're my cousin. Hmm. Aunt Liana is your mother. Her. Her. Um. Our father didn't have anything to do with your birth. And you can just see John saying, And who's my father? <laughs> and Brian like, oh. Hmm. Someone bring me to Word 3 so I can figure this out. <laughs> uh, that would be a hilarious exchange if that's what they do. Um, yeah. And one other thing about John, and the fact that he said the line, we have, we have lots of enemies now. Well, he would have one less enemy. Walter Frey. After... Her celebrating the siege of River Run with the Lannisters, and the Lannisters pissed off. They're like, you know, fuck this, we're out, we're not, we're done. This is boring. And, and later in the, that scene, and Wall of Frey sitting around eating some pie. He, he, the, the hall is completely empty, I don't know where everyone went. Maybe all those men were Lannisters? Well, if he has brought more pie by he's some random girl, or so we think, and he's like, yo, where are my sons? And they said they'd be here. And the, uh, girl, and the girl who brought him the pie said, they are here. And, she, and he lifts the uh, crust of the pie and sees a toenail. Which is disgusting as hell. And then off comes the face to reveal Aya Stark. And then she slits his throat. She didn't say it though. She didn't say the North remembers or like the Stark. Irk send her regards. She, although she did say a memorable line and I want you to. The last thing you'll see is a Stark smiling at you. But she should have said a line like, The North remembers, or her, her, the Starks send their regards. Just, just for that irony, he, as he was dying. But, you know, the payoff that I uh, killed Walder Frey, oh fuck, got what he deserved. The Starks are back! Back. They've taken their revenge against the Boltons. They've taken their revenge against it's the phrase. Guess what house is next? Starts with an L. Lannister. Er, Cersei. They're coming for you next, biatch. Ah. Brilliant episode. And n- nothing really ruined it. It was a very good episode. And... The scene with Sam, which I'm not even going to talk about because it was boring as piss, that didn't ruin it. And the scene in Dorne only improved it. The scene in Dorne improved the episode, which I didn't think anyone would ever say. There's probably a lot of you saying who maybe haven't seen the episode or like 
Dude's gone crazy. Dorn improving? Nah, Dorn doesn't improve anything. Dorn is shit. I agree. Dorn is shit. But they did improve this episode. Oh, there. This scene was very necessary because it now shows that the Tyrells and the Sand Snakes are gonna aside it and align with Daenerys. Fire and blood. So the Lannisters are completely fucked because as they're definitely gonna be attacked by Targaryens. Maybe by Starks as well? Who knows? I don't I don't know if John is gonna ride all the way in his south just to if I the Lannisters in King's Landing. Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Hmm. Unfortunately, we have to wait until next year. Or whenever Season 7 is coming out. Oh, but... I'm going to go out on a limb and say the wait... Yeah, the wait? The wait will... Be worth it. So that was episode 10 in a nutshell. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. it what was your favorite scene? Hmm. I know what mine was. It's, actually, it's kind of tied. Three-way tie between Arya uh, killing Walder for a John being proclaimed king of the earth. Earth and Daenerys finally leaving Marine. We won't see Marine anymore. Hooray! Oh, screw it. That's my favorite scene. Daenerys has finally left Marine. And she's coming for her, her throne. Oh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to your new channel. Oh, and until season 7, I'm out.